Today is a special day. After almost half a year of waiting, I have finally acquired the Pink Mobile. This car is the 2021 Indianapolis 500 winner's car, the number 06 Meyershank racing car of Elio Castroneves. This model consists of two different parts. We have a trading card showing the winner, the car number, the race, and the name of the winner, along with the logo from the race. On the back, we have a little biography about the race and the winner, and the team logo, and another picture of the winner. Then, we have the car itself. This is a highly detailed die-cast model made by Greenlight Collectibles in 164 scale. So, if you go out and buy, say, a Hot Wheel, it's going to be roughly the same scale if you put these two cars together in real life. But, focus is on this car. It is beautiful. I love the color scheme. Let's take a look at the sponsors. On the side pods, we have Sirius XM, AutoNation, on these little wheel pods. Can't tell, we have AutoNation... Series XM and maybe some Firestone logos or something. But same on each side and on the top here on the engine cover we have Honda and AutoNation. AutoNation on the wing. 06 on the roll hoop. They got rid of the leader lights a couple years ago. On the top of the wheel pods we have Series XM and Drive Pink. But on the front of the car we have the 06, you have AutoNation, Drive Pink, NTT IndyCar Series, Honda, Dallara, and then the Meyer Shank logo. I don't know if you can see it. On the wing, we have Sirius XM. Over here, we have Gap Futures on the side of this, on the end plate of the wing. Underside is actually the same chassis that IndyCar has used for its die casts since 2018 except in 2020 they just added the aero screen so same chassis same wing the only thing different is the aero screen speaking of that area of the car the interior sponsors on the aero screen we have auto nation sirius xm and honda and if i zoom in a little bit the inside of the car it's pretty plain not much to talk about. We have AutoNation and Speedway on the on the side here, and same on this side of the car. But this car is pretty durable, um, so if you're responsible enough to not play around with it, like say a Hot Wheel mainline, then it won't break. Except maybe if the wing is tilted, you're able to you might be able to wiggle it out and then super glue it back in in the regular format. I did add a couple more um, little details to this car. I did add little white stripes, almost like a concept if headlights were added. Just thinking, IndyCar, maybe night races. Uh, rear lights. I love these rear lights on the road course cars. I don't know if they are on the ovals. I, they aren't as rain lights, but they are. They might be as maybe brakes or brake lights or something. I don't know, I don't I'll go into the technical side of indie cars in a later video. But here we have more pink, some more pink, even more pink, and the rest is black. Still, this is a beautiful model. Greenlight makes say a lot of twenty of these every single year. So you will be able to get quite a few of these maybe at 10 bucks at the highest some of them are like 12 15 on Amazon you can get some of the at the uh, Motor Speedway Museum if you live in that area which fortunately I do uh, you can also buy them on the IMS website depending on where you live it might take anywhere from a few weeks to a few months to get to you, I did not realize this was a pre-order, and I ordered it, and here I am in March, 
and I ordered it in like July of last year and this beautiful model finally gets to me. So that concludes this first TWIR diecast review of the 2021 Indy 500 winner's car. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button. Please subscribe to the channel for more diecast review videos, news updates, and racing clips. And share the video with your friends. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.